One box, more than 6,200 documents, 20 homicide files containing information never before revealed publicly on one of the most explosive criminal cases in the nation's history. We picked it up at the Atlanta City Attorney's Office this afternoon. They hadn't given it up without a struggle in court. Our goal with respect to the files which were released today was to assure that we were not violating any privacy interests which require protection under the Georgia Open Records Law. The files don't paint a pretty picture. Instead, they sometimes paint the troubled cityscape where some of the victims came from. One file explores possible ties between a group of homosexuals and three victims. The files reveal that at some points during the investigation, suspects in at least two of the killings had included close relatives. There are mentions of drugs. Persons with criminal records surface often. One victim's mother allegedly admitted to investigators she was a prostitute. But most of that had little to do with the end of the investigation. That came with the conviction of Wayne Williams in two of the cases. There is some music included in one of the files, some written by Wayne Williams. Investigators were exploring a possible songwriting connection between him and Patrick Rogers, a 16-year-old murder victim. With the Inside Story, I'm Mark Winnie, Channel 2 Action News.